Hello everyone, welcome to another episode learning to make your IT operations efficient. Today we will see how you could automate your public cloud operations using Xplay. Let's start with an example for starting and stopping your AWS EC2 instances using Playbook. We are now in the AWS console and see that um, there are three EC2 instances running. Uh, this is identified with the help of an owner tag. The playbook creation is a three-step process, starting with defining a trigger, identifying a resource group, and selecting the action from the action library. For this demo, we are creating a trigger to execute a one-time action. It can also be a predefined scheduled time. The resource group is then defined by uh, selecting the cloud, account, region, and the owner tag to help identify the three EC2 instances. After this, let's select the stop EC2 action and provide the required configuration for the playbook to execute. One thing to note here is that there is no requirement of permission for a write action on the entire cloud account, but rather only a require a set of permissions to create and invoke the AWS Lambda function. Playbooks will use the Lambda function for AWS and Azure function for Azure to run the actions in the cloud. You can then add an email notification to let the user know of the status of the execution. We have now created a playbook to stop an EC2 instance and once the playbook has executed, we can see that the instance has stopped in the AWS console. The logs and email notification will help you with the status, action details and uh, errors if there are any. Now that we have seen how to stop an EC2 instance, let's now create another playbook to start the same instances. To define another playbook for this and while selecting the action, we can select the start EC2 instance action from the library. Once executed, we can see that the playbooks run successfully and starts the same three EC2 instances identified with a specific owner tag. Once executed, we can see that the playbook runs successfully and starts the same three EC2 instances identified with the specific owner tag. The process remains the same to create a playbook in Azure as well. We will now use the same building blocks of no-code automation to start and stop an Azure VM. We can see that the Azure VMs identified with a certain Azure resource group are in the stop state from the Azure portal. The trigger resource group and action configuration is defined for this playbook. There is an out of the box Azure start and stop action in the action library to select from. We can see that on successful execution, the Azure VMs are started and the user is notified of the status of the action execution. Let's now use the same process to go and stop the Azure VM again. In the real world, you might have to start a set of EC2 instances or Azure VMs on a predefined schedule, like start a VM on 9 a.m. on a Monday morning and end at 6 p.m. on a Friday evening. This is a very good use case that can be addressed with playbooks, hence saving on manual operations as well as the cost of running those instances over the weekend. 
Playbooks also have additional actions like create, delete EBS snapshots and create, delete AMIs. Apart from this, the playbook platform provides a very high level of customizability by helping define a custom action with the help of Python script if you wish to execute your own code within the AWS Lambda or Azure function. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos next week.